What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna be talking about the TPOB XO Clipper. If you wanna check out my unboxing, I did that last month. This is gonna be the review after a month of using this clipper. So let's get right into what comes in the box. Moving on to what's inside the box, you're gonna get the clipper itself, the charging dock, eight premium guards, two charging cords, a screwdriver for zero gapping. You're gonna get oil and a brush. Moving on to the clipper itself, it comes with the all black metal housing, and this is powder coated, I believe. And that's adorned with TPOB branding. You have TPOB and then you have XO, then you have TPOB on the back. It comes with the five click lever. You have the graphene TPOB XO blade, and this is gonna be the graphene deep tooth cutting blade. Moving on to the lever, of course it's five clicks. And it has this very nice ergonomic feel to it. And the clipper is very ergonomic in the way it fits in your hand. It fits in my hand perfectly. And it also has an LED that turns on when you're using the clipper. And while you're charging it will blink. And when it's uncharging it'll stay green. Now the specs of the clipper I'm gonna put up on the screen now. They're very competitive specs and exactly what you'd expect from a clipper on this price range. The one thing I like about this blade, of course, is the XO and the teeth. I think that's pretty neat. But this blade combination allows your fades to come out very crispy. Like the, you can hear the crunch while you're cutting. And that's one thing I always look for in a clipper. So I'm glad to see that that has been brought to this clipper. Now the bottom, you can see it has two charging ports on the X, so I'll put a picture of that up on the screen. Instead of a charging port, it has a charging, it has a hanging hook, and they got rid of the hanging hook, and now it's a little bit longer. And that's to make up for the USB-C charging, the USB-C fast charging, so it'll charge up to 80% in only 40 minutes. Of course, that's a two hour charging time with the regular charging. Other than that, this clipper, it's coming in at around $130, I believe, $129.99. At the time of making this video, it's completely sold out, but there should be more coming back up in a couple weeks. I think it's like a week or two on the website and then two to three weeks on Amazon, but this thing is definitely popular. People are buying it and it might be hard to get one currently. Now, the guards that come with it, I've had my fair, I've been using this clipper for about a month with strictly the guards it came with. And my thoughts on the guards are like, they're in between, I wanna say they're in between Babyliss guards and like Stylecraft guards. So the wall guards, they cut short, in my opinion, they're the shortest cutting guards that are out. And these, these guards cut a little longer, but they still fade well. The way that they're set up, they will fade right into each other. I've tried switching up the guards and like mixing and matching, but you probably shouldn't really do that just because it's the, the guards are made to go into each other. And if I'm using a Stylecraft 1 guard and a Wall 0 guard and a Babyliss 1.5 and a Gamma 2 and a TPOB 3, like it's just kind of pushing the limits of what these guards are meant to do. Most of them are meant to fade right into each other, and that's what I recommend when using this clipper. But this clipper will be able to be used with wall guards, Babyliss guards, Stylecraft guards, TPOB guards, Gamma guards, JRL guards, all the guards. Except for the double magnetic Andis guards, of course. Those are strictly for Andis blades. Now, one thing I see a lot of people talking about is the charging issues. And I've seen a couple of videos kind of being like, don't buy this clipper because there's issues with the charger, blah, blah, blah. If you have an issue with, if you bought one of these and you have an issue, just return it. It's not that hard to get your money back or get a replacement. If there's an issue with this, it's not intentional. Just like any tool, if you buy a tool and it's not working properly, you can return it and get a replacement. Things like charging malfunctions and blades being crooked and springs being crooked, dinks and stuff, all that can happen while it's being brought to you through the shipping company 
and it's not the fault of the people who are providing the clipper to you. So if you ever have an issue, just return it. It's not that big of a deal. There's no need to make a video about it complaining. Now I'd like to appreciate the price that this is at. This is at 130 and for 130, you're getting a very good clipper. There's not a lot of clippers out with this level of quality at 130 currently. I'm trying to think of other metal clippers and there's not a lot of metal clippers and definitely not at this price point. For 130, this is the price of a Wall Senior, I believe. This is the price of I don't even know another clipper that's priced at 130, but this is a very quality clipper for only $130. Now my only issue with this clipper itself, my only issue with this clipper is it comes with a charging dock that's not USB-C. And I understand why that is. A USB-C charging dock would cost more money and the price wouldn't be able to be at 130. So if it came with a USB charging dock, you're probably adding another $20, $30 onto it. And clearly that's not the prices TPOB are trying to put their tools at. So I understand it, but I think if it maybe had a charging dock that was sold separately that was USB-C, you'd be able to have the advantage of a charging dock and take advantage of the USB-C at the bottom. Other than that, I think this clipper is a very good clipper and it definitely changed my game. Going from, these are my custom trolls. I have the T the TPOB candy blade on there. And I have the candy lever and the stretch bracket mod, obviously. And I obviously painted them, but going from this to this, can definitely tell the difference in that 7200 RPM brushless motor. And I think as we move on to the future, things like this are gonna be more prevalent when it comes to clippers. You're not really gonna buy a bad clipper anymore. It's gonna be preference. So if you see this clipper, there might be a clipper that comes out next month and it's gonna be bright pink. And you might not like that clipper, but there's always this clipper. But there's gonna be a clipper that comes out and it has a different blade on it. But the specs in this clipper, I'm telling you are here to stay. We're not going below 7,000 RPM anymore. We're not having below four hour run time. We're not having above two hour charge time. These specs are standard now. So for only $130, you're getting a clipper that can outperform a Stylecraft level, can outperform even the FX1s. So the FX1 has the same exact motor, the N1 brushless motor. And I mean the charge time, you can use a battery if you want in the FX1, but why would you need that? Really, you have a charging dock. You don't really need a battery. So I'd like to say this is probably above the FX1 in performance, but I've never used it. So I don't want to speak that out into the air, but this is probably top three clippers out right now. And I'm saying that unbiased because I, I only use TPOB because that's all I've ever bought. But looking at the specs of these other clippers, this is up there. This has the same specs as a lot of those top clippers. So the question is, if it has the same specs, then why wouldn't it be a top three clipper? I don't really have much more to say about this clipper. I think it's a great clipper. I think you should buy it if you want to. Because nowadays, you don't need to buy every single clipper that comes out. But TPOB has a, I believe it's called the TPOB Play coming out in a couple months. And it might make this thing look bad. I'm not sure. But currently, this is the best clipper TPOB has out right now. And it's definitely the best clipper I own. And that's the end of the video guys this is a good clipper 10 out of 10 and the next video is going to be on this boy this bad boy this thing right here this thing right here hits this will be for another day for now you guys are stuck with this